All right, there's the converted wrong foo type 45 mil in a very messy garage. Let's go do a little once over here. There's the it's a touch screen monitor with Mach 3 for the control software on it. I've been using sheet cam to uh, to do the, the cam processing. Um, but uh, this is an overview here. These are 1200 ounce inch stepper motors, just Lovejoy couplers, and there's a thrust bearing in there, thrust bearing on the other side for the for the run or run ton ball nuts or ball screw that are that is inside there. All the bearing blocks have zerk fittings so they can be greased. Uh, just drilled those holes in the in the block just for extra support for this motor. It's the Y axis. These uh these uh, ball nuts are all overloaded, oversized balls. So backlash is cut way down. Um, that's the Y axis. Here's the X axis. Same type of deal. There's a bearing block just like this on the other side with a thrust bearing. Thrust bearing on each end. Love Joy Coupler. Uh, same same motor, 1200 inch ounces. Overkill, big time. That's more than enough to move that table. And let's see. We'll go back over here. We removed we removed the uh, the quill feed because we automated the entire head. Some people automate the quill so you only have five inches of stroke. We decided it would be better to automate the entire head so you get more like 20. And there's the there's the z-axis. Way up there. Same type of deal, double bearing block, double zerk fitting, of joy coupler. That's 2,800 inch ounces. Uh, that motor there That'll raise the head up and down. I've never tried to max it out, but quite fast, we'll say. Uh, those and these motors are all Kelling motors. Um, just micro stepping drives, power supply, breakout board, pretty standard stuff. Um, what else? So, did a little pro here. I'll move the axis. This is in 25% jog rate. It's backlash compensation you hear there. Here, I'll shift and raise the head so it'll get fast jog. Anyway, I already have this set up. I'm going to pocket these holes here uh, to accommodate a larger bolt and a socket to tighten that bolt. So it'll look like this. I've already post processed it and gotten it all loaded up here in the, in the G code. Um, so we'll go ahead and run that one. Just take a look at it. Turn it on and then hit cycle start.
and then switch out to that bit and then do it and then crank the table over. Obviously this method's a little faster. Just that easy. All done now. So that's the overview of the mill. Oh, we uh, uh, underneath here, this used to only have seven seven inches of motion in this plane. So we cut out a big chunk of this table, uh, so it would open up the uh, open up the path a little bit. So now the mill has about. Uh, uh, just shy of 12 inches of run in the y direction, so that's the limiting axis there. And then it's about 20 and 20, roughly, on the ZX plane. Uh, but it's pretty handy, so that's, that's the overview. It makes a big mess real fast, but it's a lot of fun.